What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another mobile gaming video. Today we are taking a look at the latest updates in Age of Origins. Let's break this down. It is a brand new month in Age of Origins and we've made just a little bit of progress so far. I've managed to upgrade my main hall. I believe we are now sitting at level 25. Just need a little bit of resources to get us up to level 26. 37.8 million bits of food and oil and 10 million steel and an extra 6 million essentially minerals is quite a hefty cost to get that upgraded. So currently I am focused on just upgrading the rest of my facilities here, trying to improve the units that I can summon. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently in the Strongest Frenzy Commander event, and it is day three. Now, I've done a video on this previously, where you have different phases each day that requires you do different things. For example, in today's one, we are actually having to recruit troops, so make sure that you're going over to your troops, and you are constantly refreshing, using those speed ups where you have them, and just try to recruit as many troops as possible to boost your alliance's rating. That's what I'm going to be doing, even though I am upgrading one of my... Uh, one of my factories at the moment, so I'm not actually able to use that. But hey, I like the ability to be able to increase the number of snipers that I've got because I've only recently managed to increase uh, these two uh, recruitment centers up to level 22, sorry, level 23, that'll let me actually do that. But apart from that, what is actually going on in Age of Origins at the moment? We've got the Gold Multipliers event, which is okay, it's a decent enough way of increasing a nominal amount of gold within your currency. There is a premium feature that will let you unlock additional levels of multipliers to increase the amount of gold. It's up to you if you really want to spend your AOZ coins here. Personally, I'm not going to use it on these. Uh, I don't feel like the gold is all that worth it for the entry point. Now, We've got the Diligence and Courage event right now, which has a number of things around um, various objectives that you have to hit each day. We are in the final day right now. I have to catch up on this, unfortunately. Currently, day one is all slay zombies. You need to kill a total of 100 zombies on the map. If you have multiple um, fleets, you you could just send them out and kill the lowest tier zombies you, you want. Just send out four fleets all at once, killing low tier zombies to just rack up those kills. Failing that, I actually like to just kill the hardest monsters that I can actually defeat to get better rewards. It just takes a lot longer to do. On the day two of the event, you have uh, speed ups, which we have just been using ourselves right now to increase the number of troops that we are recruiting. Super, super useful there. Then we've got elite recruit. We need to elite recruit 18 times. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and just uh, get ourselves some elite recruitment 18 times. Boom. So doing two stacks of the nine is the best way of getting it done because that does actually give you one, well, in this case, two free recruits in total. Um, best way to maximize your returns on that. Let's head back over to the, was it the Diligence and Courage event? Yes, that's what it is. So we'll claim all of these elite recruit things. That's going to give us um, the stakes. I'll show you where to use them in just one moment. Day four, the final day of this event. Send gifts to infected for 100 int intimacy points. This is to do with your companions within the biochemical medical center. Um, it's not exactly easy to do because gaining these, um, gaining the actual um, gifts is, th there's no real way of doing it. You could get it through Medici's Treasure, obviously, which is only around once a week. So if you didn't do it earlier this week, you might be out of luck. And the only other way is PAX. So I'm probably not going to engage in that particular day of the event, but it's still worthwhile. It's got some decent rewards. So let's actually check out how that plays out in the actual event for it. So I'll go over to, not Duel of Dominance, apologies. Go back over to, uh, here we go, it'll be an Ocean Tyrant over here. So this has got an advanced path and a basic path, but it's also where you use your meat. Your meat will be used to level up your progress within this um, particular tree. And the only other way to get it is through the Shark's Lure, which is straight up using AOZ coins or real world money. So let's take a look at the actual rewards over here. I'll click these to collect the ones that we've got just now. We've gone straight up to level six here. Let's see, we've got some VIP benefits, some speed ups. You've also got some of the flowers here, which will help you in the day four of the event, I guess. You could get a little bit of them going. You've got some additional uh, fuel ups here if you're uh, unlocking the advanced rewards. I mean, we could do that. Yeah, why not? Let's let's go ahead and uh, unlock the advanced rewards just to see what we actually get in total. So VIP points for the day, you get additional mineral boosts, you're getting some gather bonuses, extra recruitment speed ups. You've got some uh, treatment here for your companions to get rid of the um, the zombie infection, essentially. Some additional fuel. You're gaining some um, lucky chests here as well. That's not too bad. Resource crates. 
going down, hitting level 7 will get you a bunch of re elite recruitment orders. Again, really not so bad. These are not the fragments. These are the full recruitment orders. So you'll be able to get what, an extra 3 there, 2 for the base. you got some stuff here to increase your tyrants as well. Some hero ch skill chests. These are huge, actually. Um, oh, sorry, they're not skill chests. They're hero fragments. Apologies. Um, and we've also got some Kingsley fragments going down to level 11. All the way down, just having a look here. There's the skill chest that you're looking for. That's actually pretty good at level 16. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got more stuff over here that will help you essentially increase the intimacy for your companion. Probably still not enough to actually unlock the full rewards for day four, unfortunately. And then you've got some decent um, resources for your base, which I could really do with to help me push to level 26. That's not the only thing that is on at the moment, though. We also have the Fishing Master event. This is live. I have another video detailing how to go about doing this event. What are the benefits? How to best to engage with it? Uh, essentially, you catch a bunch of fish. You can use uh, AOZ coins and the like to improve your odds, increase your capture rate, and help you catch more and more fish. The more fish that you mark off, the more rewards that you will get, the better your points will place and everything. I won't go into it too much detail in this particular video because, like I said, I do have a completely separate video that covers that. Now, in the month of February, we do have a new Road of Legends, of course. Of course we do. We get one of these each and every month, and it is obviously, because it's February, we are in the theme of Valentine's Day. Isn't that wonderful? I hope you've got someone special in your life. So I know I do. I'm very fortunate to have Mr. Scribble in my life. Let's check out the rewards then. So as usual, we do have a nominal normal rewards and then we have the advanced rewards, which will cost you AOZ coins to unlock. As you progress, you can get additional keys that will help you unlock this rather fabulous looking heart shaped chest, which can give you some additional rewards. If we just take a look over here, these are the rewards that you can get. Now, the one you're looking for is obviously the Saki fragments. Saki is a fantastic officer. I have her currently stationed within my, um, is it drill master? I can't remember. Um, I currently, as you can see, have her at two, uh, two star on grade two. So I, I could use a couple of additional fragments of her. Unfortunately, the, the likelihood of unlocking Saki from this is very low, but any chance is better than nothing. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see, we've got standard rewards and we've got the advanced rewards. Standard rewards over here. It looks like we've got the love fireworks. Those are just, um, cosmetics over there. You've got the tough luck one, city fireworks. Uh, you doubt that zip sound is a groan made by this firework. A groan, eh? Hmm. Used to have some remorseful black smoke above your city on the world map. I haven't actually checked that one out. Should we go ahead and check it out, see what it looks like? So here we are. This is what the city looks like with the current cosmetic. It does kind of look a little bit cool. Probably not something I would leave on there the whole time. Let's check out the tough luck fireworks, see what these look like. It does give us, of course, the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, God. It looks like love sometimes can burn, guys. Those those love fireworks look just a little bit better, I feel. I feel like those are just a little bit better. Anyway, let's get back to the rewards chain there and see what else we can actually get. So we've checked out those. Obviously, we've got this cyber romance going at the moment. It's just a cosmetic. I don't believe it actually offers you any boosts to your city. It's purely cosmetic in appearance. The advanced rewards give you quite a significant amount of elite recruitment orders, nine there, so that's actually, you know, a whole bonus one. You'll actually technically be getting 10 out of that. Got one key here that I've already used. You get a little bit of the additional speed ups, some far superior speed ups on the advanced side, obviously. Additional resources, additional officer skill chests, uh, not skill chests, sorry, officer XP. Uh, Commander XP, you get additional stored energy jars so you'll be able to advance your titans just a little bit quicker. Not too bad. You get a golden Pandora box, which can give you 300 to 1,000 gold, which is not too bad. You get the transistor engine over here. Now, I've activated this, but I don't think we've got a ship that's out on uh, a fleet, sorry, that's out on the map right now. If we get one more level, which is an extra 1,100 points, we are going to unlock additional keys. That's a whole additional three keys for additional unlocks. Maybe we'll get some Saki unlocks there. That wouldn't be too shabby. Then it's just keep on going, keep on going with additional speed ups and material crests. Now, these are OK. Honestly, I don't really mind the additional rewards for the month. I think they're OK. They're decent. If you were going to spend any money on it, I personally would go for the benefits reward crates because I believe that the monthly um, benefits rewards are probably the best value for money in this game if you are going to spend anything. I'm just going to set up an auto kill now just so we can see what our ship actually looks like. Just need to get him out. Oh my god, it's much bigger than I thought it would be. I didn't realize it was quite so large. It's thick. It's juicy. Not too bad. I do like cosmetics in this game. The cosmetics are actually quite cool. They're quite fun. 
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the events that are currently running in Age of Origins. Let me know in the comment section down below. How are you proceeding? How is your duel of dominance going? I'd love to hear from you. And until the very next video, peace out and big love.